This program is brought to you by vinnie.co.uk. Very warm welcome back. Champions League Paul with you here on Free Sports. Steam Jameson and Slam Webb still with you. And we're a third of the way through the night. Two matches down. Our third one is up next. This is the state of play at the moment on the league table. As we see the table on the table, it's a great start for Tom Price. A win in the books. And he at the moment holds the aces. He does. When you win that first match, it really gives you, you know, you've got control of it now. Tom knows that he's got two matches left. If he wins them both or he gets point, wins one and draws one, he's going to go through. Um, so Good he's frame. in control. Story to break. Long way to go, though, that's for sure. Oh, a long old way to go. Sean Story with our next break. It's him up against Eddie Barker, who we just saw take that defeat to Tom Price. A very close match indeed. Again, example of that brilliant break from Sean Story. He really does hit them well, especially for a cut break. And he's at the table again. If he can get his first pot out the way, he could be in business here. Red Reds don't look bad. It just needs, it just needs Simon a bit of an order because. The Reds are almost all blocking each other here. Just need a little bit of figuring out, but I don't think too much in the way of cannons or clever ricochets need playing. Yeah, once you've got them all open as he has here, it is all about that pattern. I have to say, he is breaking very well. I know he didn't win his opening match, but he did break very well. We saw this last week as well, and I think we might be in line to see it again. Once our, our players got settled, had a match on this table, because Chris mentioned in his interview, it's, it's not an easy table to get used to. It's very quick, very responsive. Once they got used to it, they were firing. We saw some good pull, and if we're on for that again, we could be in for a great night. Yeah, I think so. His signs are very good early in this Oh, we've talked that one in. That is very much the commentator's curse. That was a very, very surprising miss here from, from Sean because the work's done. It just got just needs to make this. I think it's he's playing with a, a little bit of left-hand side because he wanted to get the cue ball coming down the table a fraction, but even so, he's it's still a massive surprise to see him miss that. Yeah, can't quite believe that. I'll be totally honest. Really, really surprised. Not a shot. We expected Sean to miss, that's for sure. And Eddie will be so keen. Having lost his last match there in quite frustrating circumstances, you could argue on the roll of the dice, getting kicked off the break the way he did was so incredibly unlucky. The timing of it was brutal. He'll be so desperate to get on the board here. And he knows he can't really afford to draw. He's got to go out and win it. Yeah, you lose your opening match, you are under a lot of pressure to try and come through. He's the player that has it all to do. But this eight ball will give him the perfect start. Shouldn't have had a go at this. Sean had done the hard work. Eddie Barker right. punishes a bad miss from Sean Story. Yeah, be very pleased to get up and running. Especially, he's the player that's just come off the table. He, he's no time to think about that loss. It's you can't uh, you can't worry about it. You have to just go on and get on straight onto the next match. And sometimes it can be as simple as a, an opportunity where you make a clearance like that just to uh, 
settle you down and remind you that you're straight into another match and not to worry about what's gone before. A pensive look on the face of Sean Storry. Frustrating one for him. And on his break as well, Eddie here did break generally pretty break well against Tom Price. Eddie Barker to break. And the one that he went in off on, he hit beautifully. He was very unlucky, wasn't he? Yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> and it's not a bad split either. He's queuing it beautifully. It's a great angle to show, actually. The, you know, from your uh, with your tutor's hat on there, Simon. That is straight down the table and back again. Good pace through the pack. Good explosion. Just shows he's keeping good control of the cue ball, although that is not good control of the cue ball. He's been a bit unfortunate to be kicked to where he is, and he may not yet have a shot on now. I don't think he does. The only yellow he can see is the yellow on the right side of the table. I don't think he can fashion that into a pot in any kind. He's just the safety attempted. He wanted the cue ball to be close to this red, but the fact that it's an inch or two away, this red does go into the centre pocket. So now that's gone. Look at the table. It's just the red at the top. Does that pass the yellow? to the top left. If it does, this is wide open once again. It's tight, isn't it? It's always difficult to tell off the overhead. Exactly the angle, especially when it is that tight. You've got to be right behind it. It's, it's close. I think he can. If you're right behind that, if you're right behind that, you can play that off the jaw, I think. Won't tell you the angle that Simon Webb's holding his head right now. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, yeah, <laughs> trying to work that one out. <laughs> Well, he's played position on it. That was an angle where he could have gone into it if he wanted to, but I'm pretty sure that he just needs to drop this in off the jaw. Doesn't need to do it. If he is going to play that, he doesn't need to do anything with the cue ball. It's a fairly natural pattern, pattern down the table, isn't it? The, the red that's nearest the eight ball will give him natural position onto it. Yeah, that went. <laughs> Probably had more room than we gave it credit for. Will want nice position on his final red. Has to wait this well. And he's played that perfectly. Just flicks in and off the near rail. Sean Story will tie things up. It's going to be a nip and tuck sort of night, I think. Nice response, though. Having made the mistake in the opening frame, not taking the chance, that was a very similar level of opportunity, and he has taken that out very well, kept control of the cue ball perfectly throughout the whole visit, and never looked like going wrong. So he's up and running in this match. Yeah, call him autopilot, a nickname his friends gave him due to his pilot's license. He's telling me he was an autopilot on the way up here. A journey from Suffolk. That's one of them Teslas, those mod cons. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Also pilot in more than one way. Absolutely. Very, very nice for Sean. Uh, just looking at, at this uh, biggest achievement list, t notice that two of those tournaments, uh, the Bulldog Security Challenge and the K8 Classic, were both actually in this venue. Um, so two, it's a, a very comfortable and familiar venue for Sean Story. Is that something that plays into a into a poor player's psyche ever? I think... <laughs> possibly. I mean, if, you, if you've had success somewhere, then it, it can only be a positive thing. I suppose it might play more into the other way. Yeah. If you had a nightmare moment at one venue, you might get almost sort of PTSD flashbacks to that, perhaps. But i tell you what, Sean Story is breaking so well tonight. It was a good sign, this, when he was playing so well in the shootout showdown. He always had that reliable break. And so far, so good. Yeah, I think that's 
six from six, or somewhere around that mark in terms of, I don't think he's had a dry break yet. Everything's gone in for him. His mistakes so far have always been positionally or missing a simple ball. Yeah, they're actually to be To, to be perfectly blunt, there have actually been mistakes that are really rudimentary for a player of Sean's considerable ability and talent. The mistakes he has made have been really sloppy. And I think he might have made another one here. I don't think he can see this red to the middle. We can't. Double? Yeah, good recovery. Really good recovery. Is, the problem is, and okay, yeah, it's a good recovery, I agree with you, but. The ball he's just potted, that was his ball to land. He's got one problem ball on the table, and that's the one he is very close to now. That was his ball to either land on that as a pot, or what he probably wanted to do was just play into it, a little nudge, and guaranteed to be onto the next ball. So this route has just got a lot harder than he wanted it to be. Yeah, and it all came from a, a basic error. Yep, I agree. One that you wouldn't expect him to make. This is now a tough shot. It is a tough shot, and I don't know if he's got the perfect angle to drift onto the black. It might have just a shade too much. I think he's all right, actually. Yeah, looking from the overhead, he can just drop this in. He's going to have some sort of shot on the black. Ooh, not quite there. And that all stems from that miss or sorry that positional error that he okay it looked like he recovered but he didn't fully recover I saw actually in the week that Sean took on the the gas pots potting down the rail challenge he's been practicing those a lot yeah there's been some certainly in lockdown there's been some great challenges uh, flying around a lot of them set by gas pots and we're in his his venue tonight um, whilst we're mentioning his name that challenge, one of the harder ones that I've seen. I've, I've seen some really good players have an hour's worth of a go at that and not be able to do it. But Sean certainly went close and just shows he, he's been practicing that exact shot multiple times. It is tough. Yeah, it, it is. And that's why you practice them, because they are tough shots. They don't, you know, sometimes players make them look so easy, but they are. They are tough balls and you have to, you've got to be very precise. Important here for Eddie to make sure he leaves the correct angle on his last yellow so that he can track up the table for nice position on the black. Of course, only goes to the top right-hand pocket. First glance, I don't think that's ideal. Maybe he can just get enough on this to stay on the right side of the table or, or stay on the left side of the table, stay on the correct side. Yeah, he got into it okay. Won't mind potting the red. That holds the white up beautifully. It's for 2-1. Just maybe psychs himself up a bit, Eddie Barker. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? What a let off for Sean Story. Frame. Who takes the frame? That's wow. A, that's incredible. That really is. And okay, it's it's not a pot I expected him to miss. Certainly wasn't expecting him to go in off. But that to me comes down to the position onto it. He left the you know, whenever you're having to move length of the table with your last positional shot the way he did, you're never guaranteed to be absolutely perfect. Uh, if he'd left a, a slightly better angle, it would have been easier for him to get onto the black with more control. Uh, but even so, it's a black that he'll be very annoyed not to make. What a massive frame of pull that could turn out to be. That could be... Really hard for Eddie Barker to recover from. I know he's got 9 minutes 28 left in this match. Of course, we've already said it's almost imperative that he wins the match. Having lost his opening match, he to have any chance he needs to win this. And if you could have given me live odds 
Ferretti not making a ball off that break, you know, oh. put your house on it. Just seems to come in, you know, when it rains, it pours in Paul, and you just knew that was gonna, it's just gonna fall that way, Freddy. Yeah, the statisticians will tell you or the, that, you know, it's the just the way it breaks, it's, it's, you know, but there's something in it. The pool, pool players know, you know, when you, you make a mistake such as he did, you know that you're gonna break dry in the next break and probably maybe subconsciously you try and hit it too hard to make up for um, the, the mistake you've just made, your timing goes, I don't know, but I do know that we do see a lot of dry breaks in that situation. I think Sean can sneak through to the middle of the table here. He played a decent shot there to try and free up these yellows at the bottom. And they have stuck together a touch and in fact he couldn't. So safety it is. And he hands the table over here to Eddie Barker. And this isn't... This, this isn't not on for Eddie here. A fully flying Eddie Barker clears these away but can he clear the cobwebs from a couple of moments ago. If he'd won the previous frame, you'd fancy him to take these out, even though they're a little bit congested around the eight ball area. I don't know whether the one just below the eight ball goes to the, the bottom corner. Because if that one does go, it can, the rest of it can unfold. Well, he does, he's playing on it to the bottom left. So there's enough room there. And I'm, I think he can, if he drops this through, he can stay on the red to the top right. So he doesn't need to necessarily move anything. He just has to piece this one together. That was a decent positional shot to play onto that ball, but unfortunately the positional shot's gone wrong because he's gone too far this time. Yeah, it's another one of those, isn't it? It is so responsive, this table. And it, quite easy to run an inch out of position, and that positional shot had to be so precise. Really had about probably two inches he could slot himself into anything over that, and it was end of break. But Sean's not been left anything easy here don't think he's got an obvious pot on. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, that's Who needs creative. obvious? That is very great. Who it? needs obvious? You know, you see a shot like this from Sean Story, and it just makes the miss that he had earlier on in this match seem even more ludicrous. That is a brilliant shot. It's the vision to see it. I'm certain that Eddie Barker didn't see that shot didn't think he'd play the shot the way he did. Excellent vision from Sean Storey. Has to put the finishing touches to this now, because if he does, 3-1 up, the way the match has gone, okay, there's going to be enough time on the clock, but 3-1 up, Eddie's going to be right up against it. Yeah, it could be the dagger for Eddie Barker. If Sean Storey can finish this off, uh, this off rather, this isn't guaranteed. So we've got a little bit of work to do. I think he's got a fraction too much angle. May just have to accept the cue ball a little bit further away from the black from ideal. Yeah, if he continued on that path, then the cue ball would have been going towards them. Still a black you expect him to make, but he's missed a couple of balls you haven't expected tonight. For 3 1. Was never in doubt, was it? Right. Nice work from Sean Story in the ends. All about that three ball plant into the middle pocket. What a shot that was. Yeah, that was uh, just a brilliant shot. The, the vision to see it, excellent. But you've also got to execute the shot and he's done that really, really well. And I know that when Eddie sat down in his chair, I'm pretty confident he would have expected to get back to the table there. I think he thought he played a pretty decent safety shot, made it awkward enough, but um, you know, that's that's what these guys can do. They can come up with those big shots and turn frames around. And um, I don't really know how, but Sean's 3-1 in front in this match. You kind of feel it's been a bit more even than that. Yeah, I think you feel a little bit as a neutral Freddie Barker here who's not had the rub of the bays, so to speak. And especially you, you go back to that moment in the first match, the in off the break, it was so criminally unlucky. And, and since then, it, it seems to have 
rained and then poured. Yeah, it doesn't feel like he's done a huge amount wrong. Obviously, the big, big Miss Black, that's the, the big talking point, isn't it? The Miss Black, 3-1, or oh, sorry, 2-1 down or 2-1 up. It's another brilliant break. Gets really good motion on the eight ball again, doesn't he? This cut break is really working well. A little bit fortunate to keep the cue ball on the table, but you'd, well, I say you'd, you'd say he was unlucky if it had gone in. So, so one thing you would say with Sean's breaks is seems to be a bit of a pattern. The cue ball does tend to end at the bottom of the table, which, due to the way he hits them, the majority of the balls tend to go the other way, and actually, doesn't always. He doesn't always end up with the easiest lie for his first shot in particular because of where the cue ball ends up. Yeah, I think it's the way you, when you cut break, you're always likely to leave the, the cue ball in the bottom of the table. I would say with a cut break, though, you are expecting a more even split across the whole table rather than the majority going to the top half. It's a nice shot to control the cue ball back out there. About three minutes, 48 on the clock but this match is now in Sean Storey's hands because this chance is a brilliant one for him. I think he's a little short of position. If the middle of those three reds goes past the, the yellow, then it's fine. If it doesn't, he may have to play a plant. Well, we know he's got that in the arsenal at least. That's true. Oh, it did go through the gap. That made things so much easier. It's still not perfect, though. I would, I would have wanted to be a little bit straighter on this red to track onto the one onto the cushion. I don't think he's got the right angle to do that, so he may have to leave the one on the cushion as his last ball. Oh, he's got a kick as well. He's still okay. Strange contact there, but landed with a nice angle. Two shots away from a win. And a solid start for Sean Storey. Eddie Barker, perhaps a touch unlucky. He will feel, no doubt. But he has himself to blame with that missed black. It was his only missed part of the match. An incredible moment on which the match might well have hinged. Sean Story though, takes the win. He is now in pole position at the top of the table. There is still so, so much to play for tonight. It's living up to the billing, Simon. It is, and just going back to that match, I'd have to say that that all swung on that missed pot, didn't it? You feel like if, if Eddie goes 2-1 up there, the way that Sean had thrown away some chances, you'd say he was in the driving seat and he might have been able to put the hammer down there. The minute, fair play to Sean though, the minute that that black was missed, he responded with two very good frames, uh, especially that last one, fantastic break and dish to wrap it up and deserved winner, you have to say. Yeah, that three ball plan is one that we'll, yeah. I'm sure we'll be sure to ask him about whenever we get the chance to speak to him. A great win then for Sean Story, and we get to take a break now, but don't go anywhere. We've got our next match up on deck, and we can't wait to bring it to you here on Free Sports. This program is brought to you by vinnie.co.uk.